everyone. So some people who have um, bought some leather erotics corsets recently messaged me and asked me how do I put it on <laughs> because um, the busks seem to be a little bit more tricky to uh, be able to clasp and unclasp. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. And the first thing I do is of course loosen the laces and I guess this is a general lesson in all corsets. Loosen the laces first. For some corsets you don't have to loosen the, the laces like totally all the way, just loosen them enough so that you're able to get the corset on comfortably without struggling. Um, but for leather erotics corsets in general, I loosen it so that there is absolutely like zero of this bunny loop slack. Even if that means that the corset is like pretty much falling down my hips because it's so large, um, it I find it easier that way. So let me just do this. Okay, so I'm going to move the modesty panel aside so you can see. There is absolutely no slack here in the bunny ears. This corset is opened to its fullest. This is as wide as the gap is going to get without me, um, you know, unthreading the laces from the grommets. So at this point, what I usually do is I grab hold of the knob side of the busk and I want to pinch it. Do you see how I'm doing that? I'm actually kind of pinching that fabric back so I can grab hold of the knob side like that. And that usually gives me the leverage that I need to do at the corset. So I still try to do um, the first class, the second from the top, so that um, if I do it from the very top one, then it's going to have that weird sort of hinge action that you don't really want because that just is going to make things harder for you. So second from the top is how I like to do it. And then you can see how I can pinch that so that my thumb can give the leverage to do it up. Now sometimes you might notice that as you clasp up the lower ones, the top ones start to unclasp. You can just go back after you're done and um, get those up again. And sometimes the very bottom one is the hardest to do, but first up here. And then once you're done all the other ones, then go back and do that last one at the top, very last. And actually just this morning I got an email from Leatherotics um, because they had been reading through the comments of my reviews last week. And they said that whenever they're doing up the, uh, the busks, for the corsets on their models whenever they're going to photograph the, the corsets. Um, they say that since the, the lowest bracket is pretty much the hardest one to get close, they start at the bottom and then they work their way up so that way the hardest part is done first and you don't have to worry about it. I still like my version of it. And experiment with different ways to do up your busk and see which one works for you um, and which works best for your corset. Another method that I had tried in the past is basically just lying down flat on the floor and then just kind of like feeling my way to do up the busk because that way I'm not um, bending over. Um, that's one last tip that I'm going to give you. If you are craning over, trying to go like that to do up your busk, that's bending the busk. And so that may very well cause the loops and the knobs to not match up. So if you can, just do this in front of a mirror and try to stay up as straight as possible. That might help as well. So um, I hope this helps. It's just a really quick video on uh, helping you to clasp your busk on your leather erotics corset or any other corset that might have some tricky busks. Let me know if this helps at all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.